It's brand new Kickstart PPC. And today I'm going to be diving into bidding rules on scale insights. Now we figured the way you could get the most value out of this video is not only if we just talked about the rules, what they can do roughly, but actually just go into them and show you how to create your own because not all businesses have one set of criteria. You need to be able to apply different rules, to different businesses that fit their business model. For example, a product that's a higher price, you might want to be optimizing them every two weeks rather than every seven days. And that's because a lower conversion rate means that if you pause or amend a keyword after seven days, you might not be making the best decision. And every product's different. Every product has its own criteria. So we're going to dive into the nitty gritty today and show you how to do everything yourself. And if you do work with an agency like us, you'll be able to tell us exactly what you need because you'll understand how all of this works. So before we start, I want to tell you, we do have a promotion with Scale Insights. So if you look in the description, we have a 10% off lifetime coupon with Scale Insights. So if you sign up with our link, you'll get that. And you also get a free 30 day trial. And this, you don't have to put a credit card in. You just sign up, link your account, and you can see all the features that Scale Insights has to offer. So if you go in the description, check that out. You definitely won't regret it. It's a top quality software. So let's jump straight into the video. So to get started, what you need to do is go dashboard automation and then bidding rule. This is where all the magic happens. So what you have here is you typically end up on sponsored products and you want to scroll to bidding rules here. This will showcase every rule that you've created in regards to bidding for products. And you'll have all the formulas, everything that you've created right here in this dashboard. So you can amend everything, link them up to new campaigns, etc. It's all here for that. But if you want to create your own, you have to go here to create rule. I'm going to show you just to make things a little bit easier. I'm going to show you one of our rules and you can, uh, you can take what you will from it. So this rule is for when there's a, you know, this is an aggressive rule to get to 30%. So keyword criteria, you can change, change that to any factor of clicks that you want. Say you have, uh, say you want like 15 clicks, you can put that in 20 clicks, 30 clicks, anything you can do that. And you do criteria profile. So I'm not showing my rules here just because these are what we use with our clients. If you're interested in working with us and the kind of rules that we have, then definitely reach out. Our contact info is in the description and you can contact us for a free audit. So we'll, we'll look over your account and see if we can help out on not only Scale Insights, but all of your PPC. So you go in here and this is where you can create any kind of criteria. So you click create and you can put in anything. So say it needs at least thousand imp hundred impressions um, at most could be two clicks. So you need at least a hundred impressions. It's had two clicks for this and you can make it any criteria. So you set up the criteria and that will then appear in that section criteria profile. From there, you then go into bidding rule. So you can, you can select any of the criteria here, ad group criteria, campaign criteria, you select the ones that you want and the ones that you've created, and then you can adjust the bids. So for example, this one is a 10% adjustment and this 10% adjustment is made every seven days. This seven day period is to observe a keyword. So this is after a change has been made. So you have observing and you have analyzing. So both of these are optional, but I would recommend you have a certain period of time every you know, two, one, two weeks, the your bids are adjusted and you can do that here. So set the bid, set the time frame. target ACOS. So whatever works for your account, 30%, 40%, whatever it is, you put it here. Um, you can do maximum bid decrease. So you can, um, you can say your bid can only go down by 50 cents. Even if you've got, uh, you know, a certain amount, this is typically like 10 cents here, 10%. Um, so you can, you can say, set it in percentage terms, whatever adjustments made, my bid will only either go up or down by so-and-so percentage. So you can do that here, make that amend that uh, as you will limit bid to suggested bid. I would recommend that. 
you can adjust the placements here. So maximum and minimum top search placements. That's quite useful. These ones here, which is adjusting based on the CPC. That's quite useful, especially if you have a highly bidded product. Say you're going for supplements where it's a very expensive niche. You've got products that are seven, eight dollar clicks. It's, it's that much to get uh, to bid. You don't want that something's going to go up 300% and you're going to pay, you're going to pay 15, $20 a click. So keeping the bid under control by keeping it at the CPC average, that's good. It keeps things under control and you have a minimum bid percentage of the selling price. So say your product is a low price product. You can then say, okay, I only want to bid 2% of the selling price. And you have that option with the software. It's it's brilliant. So once you get these rules in place, you can then, you set a name description so you can easily see it. It'll be in your bidding rules section as, as I just showed you. And then you'll be able to apply these to your campaigns, which is quite an easy thing to do. Now, there are a lot of different rules you'll need to set for your account. So this is just one of them. There's There's stuff for negative targeting, which I'm gonna go into in another video. There's stuff about uh, when you don't have any clicks on a keyword, how how you know if uh, something's not getting the impressions, increase the bid. There's a lot of different rules that you can set, a lot of things that you can um, use to improve your business. Especially in launches, it's quite useful. And when there's keywords with high uh, CPC, because this will really clean up your account and make things a lot cleaner going forward. And that's what we found with our clients. Everything that we've used Scale Insights for, it's gradually, in most cases, as due to the, the rules that we have, made things a lot better. It hasn't done anything crazy like other softwares. We've used other softwares before that have just gone haywire, gone in and put aggressive bids. You know, with Scale Insights, you have a lot of control. And that's what I love about this software. So use it as you will. So the other rule we're going to be showing you today is called the revive rule. Now, I don't think this is talked about very much on YouTube so far, but we're going to show you how it works because it's quite interesting. And this, this type of situation will happen to a lot of businesses, especially if you're setting up campaigns, you've got a lot of different campaigns, you're launching new products, you're maybe not looking into your campaigns every day you're going to have the odd search term that's not going to perform. And maybe it's just going to stop getting impressions for whatever reason. This rule will stop that happening. And if it notices that, it can inch up your bids. So if you go here to criteria, you can say if it's got one impression or more than you know three orders, etc., you can go into the criteria profile, get that created. You can then, um, you can have it increase the bids. So maximum bid adjustment, limit minimum bid to Amazon's recommendation. So that's, that maybe I wouldn't recommend, but that's, that's out there for you if that's what you wanna do. You can make it a priority here. So you can, uh, you can see if a keyword needs to be prioritized in that way. Target ACOS, of course, that's, that's a given in most, most of these rules. But, you know, as you build out your campaign infrastructure, keywords can get forgotten. It's not an easy thing to, to forget. Um, so definitely have a look into these rules. These are some of the ones we're gonna be you know talking about today. Um, now, as you guys may know from my previous videos, I'm not the biggest fan of pausing campaigns, but in the case that you are, this is a rule that Scale Insights has, and we're here to share the information. You can use this rule here to pause any campaign ad group for whatever criteria you want. You go into criteria, set what you want, apply it here, and then you can either pause the campaign or you can pause the ad group. If you don't want to pause, if you if you don't want to pause both, leave one of them that says unchanged. If you want to pause both, just do both. You got the option here. And Scale Insights really has everything that you could need. So if you're interested in this software and this is something you can use, definitely check out the description. We're going to be making a ton of videos now on Scale Insights, so stay tuned because the next video we're going to make is on the negative rules. I think that's going to be something that you guys find quite useful because they have a really cool feature that allows you to keep 
your negative keywords within one bank that applies to all your campaigns. So it saves you having to go in one by one, do all that manual work. They've eliminated that. So subscribe and you'll see the next video. But before we go, in the case that any of this confuses you and you don't want to go into all of this Scale Insights rules or it's not working for whatever reason, we have our own rules that we use. And obviously I was saying to you before, one set of rules doesn't apply for every business, but we have a good general set of rules that we apply and then we create our own to tailor the business and what your goals are. So if that's what you're looking for, definitely reach out to us. Our contact info is in the description. So we're happy to help you out. We're happy to give you an audit. So let us know and we'll be in touch. Have a good day. Bye.